Good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you for inviting me to give this presentation today. You may wonder um, what a linguist translator is doing in a vaccination meeting, and uh, to talk about uh, translation alone is not enough. Well, I'm here. Uh, let me say, first of all, that uh, I'm here um, and I represent uh, my views and the views of my company, even if uh, when I will introduce uh, the methodology, I will uh, um, take as example some uh, materials that we have uh, translated and adapted uh, with, uh, in collaboration with the CDC. So let's uh, jump immediately into uh, the soup. And, um, oh, let me... Um, Okay, it's all set, sorry. I just need to get familiar with this technology. Okay, um, so in 2012, uh, we, ECDC produced some uh, communication guide uh, for healthcare providers to help them communicate with uh, um, different uh, levels of uh, uh, patients and population. Uh, in order to increase uh, vaccination uptake and acceptance. Um, these two publications uh, um, represented for us a, a great opportunity and at the same time a challenge uh, because uh, um, sometimes uh, we, we, we saw great materials uh, well translated but uh, not so well disseminated and uh, reaching uh, the end users with some difficulties. So ECDC asked us to uh, adapt the methodology that I was using in uh, my previous uh, um, work in the translation of uh, Questionnaires of Life and uh, adapt it to uh, the translation of uh, um, longer uh, materials, like uh, guides uh, uh, in this case. So uh, the five-step uh, five stakeholder-based approach um, are, um, first of all, we need uh, to uh, carefully select the materials and the process coordinators. Uh, we need uh, to do an early review uh, by content experts and linguistic experts of the materials we are translating. Then we actually send the material to translate and uh, we have a quality check to uh, assess uh, that the, 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 the translation is uh, um, equivalent, uh, is uh, transferring the, 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 the original concepts. Then a key step is the comprehension testing. And uh, uh, final, uh, there is this uh, um, proofreading, design, networking, and evaluation step. So the first step, what is important when we uh, decide to uh, translate and adapt some, uh, adapt some material, in this case it is vac vaccination material, but it could be any health-related materials, we need to create a country-based uh, uh, team of people, of different stakeholders, that uh, take on board the, 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 the project. So the and select so it's very important to select the materials and the process coordinators that uh, will deal with the, with the process. Select the best material for your context and end user. Uh, what are the best material? Are the the ones that are evidence based uh, that are relevant for your community uh, or for the interventions uh, you are um, you are planning? Then the coordinators uh, should be. Uh, well-networked, knowledgeable, and credible coordinators that have access uh, to different uh, layers of uh, the community we are uh, addressing our material. And uh, the second step uh, is that uh, the original uh, material, in this case the guide was written in English, uh, needed to be uh, reviewed by a content expert because uh, not all the material, not all the content may be relevant to, to a country or to a, to a community. So uh, we need to remove culturally and technically inappropriate recommendations, integrate uh, existing national materials and guidance where relevant, identify the already existing, for example, uh, resources like vaccination schedules, websites, publication links, uh, and then, also very important before starting the actual translation project, is uh, to have a linguist 
to review and to stay focused on what are the linguistic challenges, the, the difficult concepts, the idiomatic expressions, or the cultural sensitive areas that need to be adjusted to the, to the, to the, to the new language we are translating the material. Then the third step is the translation, the actual translation. So we need to find the local in-country native speaker. And this is uh, usually what international agencies don't do because uh, they send uh, the, their products to uh, uh, multi-language uh, um, translation age agencies and drop down their beautiful package materials to the communities without having checked all these other steps. So the country native speaker of the country language, fluent in the language of the source documents, familiar with the designated health and behavior topics, in this case vaccination, and positive about vaccination. We cannot have a, someone translating that, that is hesitant in a vaccine or anti-vaccine because there is something that you convey through your um, work in, uh, when you translate. And then the quality check, um, in uh, this case, because the publication was quite a thick um, book, um, couldn't go uh, through a process that is called backward translation that uh, I used to um, apply when I was uh, uh, managing the translation of uh, short surveys. So the review uh, usually was uh, 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 done by a um, content uh, uh, expert uh, that uh, knew both languages and read uh, the, the version in their country language uh, in order, with a fresh eye, let's say, so they, they weren't familiar with the, with the publication, and identified what were the uh, discordancy, or the, the out of tune um, problems, or sentences or words. A key step is the comprehension testing. Once we have this uh, uh, guide that translated, the, for example, the, 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 the project was uh, um, tested, that this methodology was tested in uh, four uh, different countries, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Hungary, and Romania. Then other two followed uh, the, and requested the CDC to translate it in their country, in Greece and Croatia. And now we are in the process of uh, having in two new countries um, on board of this methodology to translate the, this vaccination guide in, uh, I think, uh, is German for Austria and um, Danish. Uh, comprehension testing is key because uh, uh, we have this material and we want to make sure that uh, the end users are, uh, can read it, can access it, and uh, finally can use it. So, the comprehension testing is usually uh, carried out through focus groups and uh, uh, interviewers with uh, um, stakeholders and influencers, and it becomes an opportunity, the comprehension testing, to create uh, networking and to uh, check uh, what are the dissemination channels for the materials and to talk about selection of formats. And after the comprehension testing, the last step, Oh, no, thank you, not yet, um, is the proofreading design at work in evaluation. So after we have uh, been blessed by the, 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 the end users and, their, and the comprehension testing uh, has given no, um, no, there are no changes uh, after that, we send the publication for, uh, uh, to a fresh eye to proofread it. Uh, we use local designer and pictures on movies or people to, to produce the different uh, um, formats. Uh, we use also the process to develop stakeholder networks. And uh, uh, evaluation uh, means that uh, at the end of all these uh, nice um, methodology, we need to eventually assess the impact of, in, of the intervention. And uh, up to date, we can say, because the, inter, the pr, uh, methodology was uh, evaluated in Bulgaria in uh, three um, uh, different uh, Roma uh, communities, that uh, thanks to the materials translated in Bulgarian and the packaged thinking of these communities, uh, there has been an increase in knowledge 
around vaccination, uh, uh, an increase in communication uh, between, uh, for example, health mediators have uh, um, shown to become key uh, go-between uh, between the GPs and the, 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 the Roma population, and uh, it has increased uh, uh, utility and uh, it has given a sen higher sense of ownership to the people that have been created, co-created uh, the translation, their country version. And uh, it has also the process uh, increased and um, shaped their um, capacities, their skills in doing this. So this was a very rapid fire <laughs> talk. I will be very happy to show, um, to um, follow the conversation later, to know what you think, if you have an, a similar experiences. This is an ongoing pro process that is developing, that is changing, that is being integrating and customized. Okay? <laughs>